Getty Roger Boodle has said trade would continue with the EU even without a deal. A no deal Brexit means there would be no formal agreement reached during the negotiations between the UK and the EU. It would mean the UK would leave the bloc in March 2019 without a trade agreement in place, which some remoters believe to be a disaster. The Economist said the overwhelming bulk of UK EU trade would continue post exit, even without a deal. Thursday, August 31, 2017 David Davis gives a press briefing at the end of third round of negotiation on Brexit talks at the EU Commission. In Brussels the EU is appallingly bad at doing trade deals it has 28 member countries which all have to agree trade deals Roger Boodle Mr Boodle said once Britain is outside the bloc, we would be able to control our own trade policy with the objective of moving towards free trade, which would cause the price of our imports to fall, especially for food. The former civil servant Sir Martin Donnelly said crashing out of the EU without an agreement would be a very serious outcome for the British economy. The UK government said she was preparing for all eventualities. Chairman of Capital Economics, Mr Boodle, said securing a free trade agreement with the EU was never the aim of Brexit, writing in the Daily Telegraph. He said after all, if successful, such an agreement would merely continue the trading arrangements that exist now. Getty David Davis and Michel Barnier are trying to come to an agreement on the Brexit terms. The Economist said that the Treasury uses a gravity model to suggest a gloomy outcome if no trade deal is achieved with a bloc. He said the Treasury's attempt to reheat the pessimistic scenario comes with the aid of its economic model. This model may work pretty well for landlocked countries like Slovakia, but it works pretty badly for countries like the UK that have a long history of trading successfully around the world. The Brexit negotiations are being led by David Davis for the UK and Michel Barnier for the EU. The fifth round of talks were held in Brussels last week. If there were to be no agreement, according to a House of Lords report there would be no legal obligation for the UK to make a divorce payment. However, this would leave a hole in the EU's budget. Mr Boodle said if the government stakes all on a deal with the EU and a deal is unforthcoming, then this would indeed be a political disaster that could be serious enough to lead to a Corbyn-led government. Getty Boodle thinks the EU is bad at doing trade deals. The way to avoid this is to plan for a no-deal outcome. If no deal then transpires it will not necessarily spell political disaster, a no deal would also mean that the rules of the World Trade Organization would apply and tariffs would be imposed on goods that the UK sends to the EU and on goods the EU sends to the UK. In March, Mr Boodle said the EU is appallingly bad at doing trade deals it has 28 member countries which all have to agree trade deals. On Thursday, the European Council are due to meet again to decide whether sufficient progress has been made for the EU to begin talks with the UK about a future relationship.